What is up guys, this is Rafe and hope you enjoyed a little intro that I made all about myself today. And uh, that's the reason uh, I didn't really upload videos, I had been trouble getting this intro made. And uh, I was in contact with a pro uh, intro maker, but uh, when he showed me the final results, I didn't really like it. And I, I did send him a message saying what I would like in my intro, and uh, maybe he's going to see it, and maybe he's going to try to do something about it. But if he's not, I'm going to use the intro I made by myself, and I hope uh, you enjoyed the intro, because I spent hard work working on it. And um, no, I didn't use any of those uh, editing programs you see Montez's makers uh, use. I used my program Sony Vegas to use to, to, to edit that little intro. So uh, yeah, leave some feedback below what you think of the intro. I think it's pretty nice uh, considering that I'm not a pro intro maker. It's my first ever made intro and um, <laughs> I'm probably not going to make any more because it's just not my style. I'm not the kind of guy who makes intro, alright? But um... Yeah, so this this gameplay you're seeing right here um, is a normal AK-47 mod. Not not entirely normal because the only reason I decided to upload this was because uh, right the um, what what do you call it? Right before the match started, I um, I I looked for the perks and I saw overkill. And uh, if you don't know what overkill is, it's a perk that uh, makes you carry two primary weapons. So uh, you can choose to have the AK-47 and the MP7 at the same time. And I was thinking that, um, why don't you use overkill and uh, then have a long range gun on, like the AK-47, and at the secondary, use the MP7. So I decided to put that on and it actually worked re out really, really well. Because when you get all your per all your perks, you also get overkill. But if you don't have overkill from the start of the match, it doesn't really uh, help out. It's just not working because you n you have to have it from the start. So um, so uh, yeah. So I decided to put it on, and uh, it was actually a really smart move because when I got up to any close situations, I can just pull out that MP7, and uh, which is really good at close range, and I can just spray him down with that. Which uh, I think you should really try out. I also have a uh, kill confirm match with on the same map like uh, this, where I was using the MP7 and the PP90 at the same time. So, uh, but anyways, look at this. All right, this is a uh, spawn fail. They said they fixed the spawn in Mova 3, but look at this. This shouldn't be possible doing. Uh, standing right here, heck glitching behind this little thing, and they keep on spawning down a little alley. If that is supposed to happen, you can call me stupid because I think that's ridiculous. Um, if I was on the enemy team, I would just uh, straight up race quit it. I think I would. Maybe I would try to take him out at the start because I, I, was, I, I wouldn't let an uh, enemy get so many st kills or something he didn't deserve. But honestly, I don't deserve those kills because it's way too easy to kill him when they don't have a single chance when I hit this right thing. But as you can see, I have to pull out my MP7. I'm glad I did because normally I'm using the Scorpion Akimbo. And if I had the Scorpion Akimbo on right now, I couldn't p pick anyone up at long range. And look at this situation. I'm one kill off the Moab right now. And I see a guy coming out right in a second. Wait for it. He's, he's coming here. Oh, there he is. And uh, if I had the Scorpion on, I couldn't get that guy. So uh, try out using that Scorpion. No, no, no. Try using that overkill. It's a really useful perk. So uh, when you get specialist, you will basically have all the perks on. But I uh, leave some feedback to you. Do, did you enjoy the intro I made? And uh, did you enjoy the video? Leave a like rating if you enjoyed it. And uh, rem remember to leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.